Now, I gotta be really careful with lithium, so let me show you something. So, lithium is actually kept under oil. Now, there's something that I want you to notice about the lithium here. Okay. The lithium is floating on top of the oil. Now, I want you to think about that for a second. You can see it on the side of the bottle, maybe. It's pretty dark in the video. So, the lithium metal is floating in oil. Think about what that says about the density of lithium. Oil is less dense than water, so the oil floats on top of the water. Lithium is floating on top of the oil, so lithium is floating on the stuff that floats on water. Think about what that says about the density of lithium. All right, now let's actually pull out a piece of lithium very carefully. Let's see if I can get a small piece of elemental lithium out. All right, use that small guy right there. Okay, you, going back into your bag. Everything that's really nasty gets its own safety bag. All right. All right, so now, let me grab the elemental lithium. So now if we look at it, come on camera, focus please. Man. All right, so it looks very dark and that's because it's got a coating of rust on it. So there's something pretty cool that we could do. Let me see if I could maybe, I feel like this camera works better when it's zoomed in on stuff. So let's see. If I take a butter knife, yes, a butter knife. Let me just check this. There's no water on this, right? Again, I gotta be very careful about the water. Yeah, something else was on it. Now it's off. All right, so check this out. I can actually cut the lithium with a butter knife. And that tells you how soft it is, but now check this out. Look at the inside of the lithium. You see how shiny it is? It's gonna rust. It's gonna react with oxygen as we're watching it. I don't know if you could see it, but it's actually getting a coating of rust as we're watching. While we're at it, you could see that once I cut through that layer of lithium oxide, it is shiny. I could check for the electrical conductivity. There we go. So it was floating in oil. It is able to be cut with a butter knife. You see that it is shiny, but I don't know if you're noticing that it's, it's getting darker as we're watching it. So it's actually reacting with oxygen in the atmosphere as we're staring at it. All right, let's do another little test with lithium. Again, gotta be careful with it, it is. Potentially nasty stuff. All right, so now, just in case of how this goes, I'm just gonna do this again. This pan back here has plain water in it. And I'm just gonna put another drop of phenolphthalein, just so if the water turns into an acid, it will stay clear. And if it turns into a base, then we'll notice it turn purple. All right, so let's try something out here. Uh, let me go back to normal zoom. All right. So if I take a small piece of the lithium, I'm going to try heating it up to see what happens. All right. Let's see how this goes. Maybe I should put the blast shield up. Well, it's only me in here, so... All right, so you know what, I'll bring this closer so we can see it. So there's the lithium metal, and I'm pretty sure I could catch it on fire. It melts first. Let's see. Got my goggles on for a reason. There it goes. Oh, it's gonna catch. 
Almost. If I got the lithium hot enough, it does catch fire and it gets extremely hot. Oh. Melted. Alright, I got you. I see you. You gonna catch? Oh, by the way, you might see some of that red lithium flame. See it? So that lithium is now on fire and it's burning white hot. That temperature is thousands of degrees. I'm about to do something really stupid. I'm gonna put that burning lithium in the water. Oh, time to step back. I don't know if you saw that, but the lithium continued burning. Oh, don't wanna breathe in that lithium smoke. The lithium continued burning while it was on the water. And if you notice the water turned pink because of the phenolphthalein, meaning that the lithium reacted with water, turning it into base. Let me just take a uh, piece of lithium and throw it in the water there. Let's see what happens. Pretty sure I could light that as well because that's hydrogen gas which reacts with oxygen to form water. That's how water, that's how you could form water. Let's see if I could light it. Oh, close. Let's try again. So the bubbles are exploding. Here we go. So lithium is a very reactive element. It gives off that really awesome red flame color, but as you notice, it uh, melted, caught fire with oxygen. It oxidized just staring at it, touching the air. And you also just saw that it reacts with water, turning the water into a base. And we know that because the phenolphthalein, which is the acid base indicator, turned pink. There you go. And there's a reason why you don't want a lithium ion battery catching fire on you. It can ruin your day.